Hey, what's up guys? It's Zoko here and I wanted to go over a hidden shop you can unlock in the game that will allow you to purchase a few items that temporarily increase the amount of runes you gain by 30%. The shop definitely has some other goodies in it, including a cookbook and stone sword key, but I digress. Additionally, there is a hidden gesture you will get if you do the dungeon exactly like I say. So without further ado, let's get to it. The place we are after today is called Murkwater Cave. It's located a bit east of Gatefront and a river. Be careful going down here because it is a steep drop. Now, when you first get here, you will likely be invaded by one of those annoying uh, bloody finger NPCs that is dual wielding some daggers. They do smack pretty hard, so be careful. Uh, you will have a hunter summoned on your behalf. So if you're on the weaker side, it may work in your favor if you stall as as best you can until they get there. Once you defeat this enemy, or if they didn't show up for whatever reason, you should be able to enter the cave. There will be a site of grace right when you walk in, so be sure to snag that to ensure a new fast travel location when you need it. There's really only one main room in here before the boss room. Uh, the, the area has some trip wires with bells attached to them to uh, alert the bandits of any intruders. So if you're on the sneaky side, you will uh, have to dispatch only the two that you see. But if you're a clumsy oaf like me you will have to cut way your way through like six people or so after that head down the right tunnel you should see the yellow misty boss door at the end only once you enter it there is no boss just a chest in the room so naturally you open the chest and find some crappy cloth pants at this point the boss will appear and he gets all pissed off at you he uses his spear and a shield and granted i was over leveled when i faced him so this might seem easier than it will actually be depending on your progress but he shouldn't be too difficult by any means once you get him to about a quarter health he will cower under a shield and beg you to stop now my recommendation for this video here is to let him live and forgive him going this route is what makes you sure you uh, makes make sure you can get the gesture if you kill him uh, you can still get his bell and bring it to the twin maiden husks at the round table hold to add his shop list to theirs but I mean who doesn't collect emotes right so forgiveness it is for me after going through his chat options he will say his shop will be open the next time you come so i went outside and immediately came back in and voila his shop was open i bought myself one of the gold pickled fowl foot and that cookbook but i also noticed something new in the room there was a new chest off to the side that wasn't there before patches also has a chat option about this chest after you hear him talk about its value he will ask you to come back later so out and back i went again on this visit though he gives you the chest kind of actually it's probably more accurate to say he gives you to the chest because it's a transporter chest that moves you in front of a couple werebears off to the east luckily you could just mount up and leave immediately without poking the bear yeah yeah that was gross anyways when you show back up uh he full-on gaslights you about what just happened and gives you a new emote the calm down emote which Seems like he's still talking crap, to be honest. I may still kill him for that. I haven't decided. But if you don't rage murder him, he will leave this cave at some point and pop up down the road later on in the story at some future points. So maybe it is better if you leave this scheming douche alive. Who knows? A lot of this fight was easier for me because I've upgraded my sword quite a bit. Uh, if you're still new and looking to farm some smithing stones to get your weapon up to at least plus three really fast, make sure to watch this video that's popping up and consider subscribing for more. Elden Ring content. Thanks for watching.